Hi guys, guess where I am? Hello y'all. From those of you from Maria Linda, if you look to the right, you can uh, see where we are. This is Clark, I'm Steve, and I've been here for two days, being a pain in his butt. <laughs> in fact, I got something to show you. This is the, the pattern of the rails we're making. And this is the first pattern in history to be banned from the state of Mississippi. <laughs> Mark said, no more. <laughs> Not at this foundry anyway. <laughs> anyway. The, uh, the, it wasn't the pattern's fault though, that we, we were experiencing problems with the sand, but it was, <clears throat> excuse me. But it, the, uh, the flask were bulging on us, and that was keeping the sand from actually locking in place. It just kept wanting to squeeze more this way and expand. And, and uh, it, you got to have a good rigid surface for sand to, to be able to, con, uh, to be rammed up in. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I made in making those and some of the things that really you need to do better before you send stuff over here. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And uh, but, I thought I made a really nice thing and we ended up having to put aluminum tape on it to make it even smoother. So you send a pattern, make sure it's really nice and smooth. Anytime you got a good flat surface, it uh, you can't go wrong putting that on there. Yeah. It, just, it just helps tremendously slick it up. It took about 10 minutes to get this one out of the first mold. Mm -hmm. And when we did it, this way it took maybe three to four so yeah a good tip yeah this man knows his stuff he's out here in a beautiful country of mississippi it's all alone <laughs> it's a little warmer today than it's been being we i was enjoying the cooler snap yeah but uh but yeah uh we yeah over all in all we had a good time doing this we had a uh uh, it, it full of challenges, but I, that's my daily life, as I was explaining. So <laughs> it's it's nothing new. <laughs> well, he did a good job. We worked till ten o'clock each night. Yeah. Well, last night, almost twelve o'clock. Yeah, and I'm usually an early bird, and uh, Steve had to wake me up this morning. <laughs> it was past ten o'clock when I finally got up. But I was laying there wired, couldn't sleep. I had to pop two melatonin about 2 a.m. this morning, and that, of course, is why. Yeah. So excuse my scruffiness. I try to usually shave before I put myself on video. I'm not much to look at anyway, so the last thing I want to do is look look scruffy. It ain't that good of a camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. We'll take care. Well, I'm fixing to head back to Texas. I hope you enjoy some of the videos that are coming out. I've got about three three of them a lot of material over two days so thanks for joining us and thank you clark for sure. inviting me and, and well thanks for coming helping out. Me out yeah I, w I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself my wife's out of town right now and uh it it, it's, it takes it's two a little people. more yeah yeah it wasn't that heavy at all with two people to carry but it is if it's just me yeah <laughs> it's, well it's a lot we got it done yep thanks for watching Goodbye, everybody. Well, there we go. Cope and drag. And a finished pattern. Ready to go to Mississippi now. We got enough moisture in it. Usually the first batch is going to require more water. Does it empty out of the trap door? Yeah. We got entirely different weather this time than we usually have. This is wonderful weather. So with that said, maybe pouring a lot more water in. Do you have high humidity here? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not that bad today. That's why it's probably consuming more.
two buckets. Two buckets. That'll be about a hundred pounds. That might be all we need for the one side. That's what we're going to be making. heart attack. Mm. Doctors sitting there, when you're in the the, uh, the ER and the doctor's looking at you going, Steve, I'm very, 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 very worried about you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You look at the doctor and go, yeah, I, I guess I do. I lost 30 pounds and have to go to the gym all the time. Oh. Well, I ain't doing no gym. <laughs> uh, I'm not a gym person. Well, I do. I used now, to. I, I, it actually makes me feel better. I, I, I'm just pretty, pretty amazed at what... I used to go to the gym and uh, that was back when I was working in the big city and uh, I just wasted a lot of time there. <laughs> when you let when you live um, an hour away. Yes. And then you get out of there and you see that grass is cut and it's all it's already getting dark. Uh, it's hard to do. Yeah. They maybe go to 16 weeks, twice a week, and drive 45 miles to get there. Uh huh. They hung the uh, monitor on you. Made you do that. Yeah. Thank you. Driving crazy. Yeah. But at the end of it, I'm on this side of the grass. Yep. You can still fight and argue with Don. Yep. So, it's good. We mowed just enough, didn't we? Now this just uh, scores it up for it won't laminate and come off in a sheet when oh, you okay. to flip it over. Makes it bond together. Yeah. I know how to do that. Yeah, okay. Well, you caught that. <laughs> I think we're going to have enough. We'll see. and just kept this in my back pocket. Huh? A long time ago, when schools had shops, we did stuff like this in our school shops. I never, we never had this, uh, unfortunately, not in a small school I was at. I best friend of all time was my high school shop teacher. Uh-huh. And 
he was able to go into the shop all year round right. because of the, uh, uh, he fixed things for them. Uh -huh. And that was, and he, they had a foundry in there and kids would do all kinds of projects like this. Yeah. Then they, sh when he retired, they got rid of the shop. Yeah. Sold off everything. That was just it. That's all right. You can leave it, ma'am. Okay. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. You're doing that wrong. What's that? You're supposed to take your shoes off. And oh, no. Do this. <laughs> now, come on now. I've seen yeah. you on YouTube. That's, yeah, we're a little. It's got to be right. We're a little. Uh, we, we operate a little differently <laughs> than that. That's one of the things that I find YouTube is great. Uh huh. But there's also a lot of people that do things that don't really know what they're doing and they parrot somebody else they saw right. and they didn't do it right. So, yep. you gotta be careful. I know. Let's see, we still got some soft corners here. Straight up with this one. Yep. One, two, three. And on its edge. Or I. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut my gate, which means I'm going to turn this one up on the edge. This way? Uh huh. Okay. Get my hand underneath it. Yeah, don't bump your coat. Just like digging in the sand as a kid. You even got an old spoon for it. Yeah. That annoys a lot of people too. People don't be annoyed. Yeah. You use what you got that works. Yeah. And what you used to. I got somebody that complains because I won't use this. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> won't be watching. Well, you could just get rid of them. <laughs> I've found that little button that works very well. Yeah. I don't mind good criticism, but just being snarky. Yeah. To hell with you. I know it. So, what I'm trying to do is keep this a consistent depth. Not yet. Now, what's the purpose of that channel? That channel is going to feed the iron into the uh -huh. cavity. Yeah. It's sort of like a makes it go everywhere at the same time. Right. And keeps erosion down. Correct. Uh -huh. Okay.
Hope they just don't pull a plug out. Ta da! I'm surprised about the deep the depth of that runner. It's not very deep. It isn't. Is it? It's the 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 metal's really well. It's fluid gonna, when it's that hot. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be coming in there pretty fast. Um, and that was the other thing I forgot to do is cut our our uh, yeah our sprue. But uh, anyway. Sooner we can get this back together, the better, because it'll just keep crawling. Oh, that's sandy. Yeah. How much sand have we got blown out there? It's gonna be quite a chunk. We need to do this again because uh, I think if we if we put the flat lap on that and uh, I'm just trying well, to, let, let me ask you this: what's that? I don't mind the blowouts and everything if we can fill it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean. The metal will go in there, and I take it back and grind it and plane it off. Okay. So, just looking for the basic piece of metal. Yeah. If that makes sense. Sure to bump the coat. Yeah. Over here. Are those tapered? No, they are very. Uh, I, I sanded them a yeah. little bit, but not enough. Voila. Yeah, it didn't bust that open. I was expecting it to. Is there a reason that you wouldn't use circles like you did on the other? I just didn't have them. Didn't have them. No, okay. it's easier to use these. I already had some squares cut. And... Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but there's some saw marks on here. When you send a pattern to Clark, don't put any saw marks on it, I found. Even these little bitty ones gave him a... They were a pain in the butt trying to get it out of the mold. And he says it's because of this surface tension here. I didn't do a very good job, even though I thought that would be perfect. It's, it's better not. Than, better than some, trust me. Better than some. Yeah. Just... Yeah, we've had some newbies. And I'm not going to point them out because I don't want to be bashing our customers. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Just do a better job than I did, guys. <laughs>
Well, we're almost to the moment of truth on this one. We stayed up to about 12 o'clock last night pouring it. And I snuck out of the house early to come unbox it and see what we've got. These are the risers that he put in. We filled it through this hole and we watched it come all the way down and could see it coming up through those risers. These help with shrinkage, he says. He is Clark. Pretty soon, we'll take it out. And there you have it, almost out of the mold completely. Looking good. Looking good. It's still hot. And it's 10 hours after we put it in there. And there we go. Both of them out of the mold. This one's got its risers and gates and everything. Well, all knocked off. Still got to cut off the top pieces. That's what it looks like. All still together coming out of the mold.